Local Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Great night for football across the Wabash Valley. Games all across the area. I'll be going across the state line over to KZ, Illinois. They'll be taking on Oblong Palestine Hudsonville at 7 o'clock their time and about 76 degrees there. Any game you're going to this evening, the weather looks great. It will turn a little bit cooler toward the end of the game as we start to see the drier air cooling off. But football tonight looks good. Tropics, there's a lot of stuff going on in the tropical Atlantic, but none of it's near the U.S. and none of it's headed this way. So don't worry about any of these things out there. There's a few named systems out there, but they're not headed toward the United States. Temperature-wise today, a little warmer than yesterday. We hit 83 for the high, 56 early this morning. Look what happened in 19. 53. We hit 100 for the record high. No rain today. I don't see any rain for a while. We should get through the holiday weekend okay about the middle of next week. Probably about the first chance of seeing some rain moving back into the area. Wabash River with the lack of rain continues to fall slowly. It's down to about three and a half feet there in the Terre Haute area. So here's what we're looking at then as we get ready for this big holiday weekend. Nice Friday night out there. Whatever you're going to be doing, there's festivals going on all across the area. And of course, football tonight. Dry holiday weekend, but it is going to be heating up and maybe some rain possible about the middle of next week with a weak front moving in. At the airport in Terre Haute right now, it's nice out there. 82, but it feels like 82. Remember, a week ago today at the TV station, we hit 100 for the high and the heat index topped at 130. Vast improvement compared to what we were just about a week ago. Here's the Crossroads Cyclecast. 7 o'clock this evening, Eastern Time. A lot of sunshine, low 80s. We'll have a light southeast breeze at just a few miles per hour. Temperatures are pretty much in the low to mid 80s out there right now, so some really nice weather going on. On the water vapor satellite, there's not anything near us at all, really. There's a little bit of moisture way down south and way out to the west. But when you look at the country, I mean, everything looks pretty quiet. So we're in good shape locally. There's just not much. If you have a few clouds where you are, those will dissipate with the sun going down this evening. Nothing to show at all on the Dorsa Automotive Doppler radar. We're going to let this run for the next two days. And all you'll see with the heat of the day tomorrow, and again as we get into Sunday, there may be a few little clouds that pop up here and there, but generally a lot of sunshine. Now it is going to be pretty hot, near 90 or so, and the humidity is going to come up. The dew points are going to get closer to 70, so the heat index mid to upper 90s. So it's going to be hot, but not excessive like what we went through just about a week ago. After that, a little front will try to sneak in here about Wednesday late into part of Thursday. That might spark a few right there, a few scattered showers or storms. I think the chances are slim we'll see much, but we may see a little out of that. And then behind it, looks like we've got a slightly cool weather pattern as we head for the end of next week. Temperature-wise, here's the heat building up across the area. Notice it stays all week. Now, by the end of next week, that little front will slide in. So right there, uh, just a little cool down possible by late next week. But generally, here's uh, September 9 to 15, the entire country, including here at home, looking at above normal temperatures. And for us, we may start to get into a rainy pattern probably the second week of the month. So forecast for tonight. Beautiful Friday night as we kick off the holiday weekend. Temperatures dropping down to 61, so not quite as cool as it has been for the day tomorrow. A lot of sunshine. It will be warmer and it will be more humid. Highs tomorrow will be getting close to 90 degrees. And then we've got some 90s coming up as we take you into Sunday and into Labor Day. Daytime highs will be in the lower 90s. We'll stay there on Tuesday near 90. Chance for a few showers and storms Wednesday, Thursday. Slightly cooler Thursday, Friday. Highs in the mid-80s. That's your forecast. Sports coming up next.